Today on Parker's Reefs, we visit lifestyle, aquarium, and reptiles. All right, here we are, stop nine on my Melbourne local fish shop tour, and I've still got a couple of shops to go. Uh, this time we're out to Bundura, which I guess is uh, sort of northeast um, of Melbourne. Um, I must admit I haven't been to this store before and um, I was excited to go there. It's been around a long time but has been under different management the last few years so I was keen to see the um, updates and uh, changes they've made. This is the um, the outside of the store. You see it's got a big presence from the um, main road which is um, it's good and made it easy. Like I said, I hadn't been there before so it made it easy for me to find. Got a um, cool van fitted up out the front which the first thing it says is that it um, they focus on uh, marine fish and corals which is really cool. And uh, one of the first things you see when you walk in is this giant uh, Red Sea Max tank um, that the owner here tells me he's been running for, I think, nearly 10 years. Um, it's a beautiful uh, soft coral and um, LPS display. And uh, a couple of the clownfish in here, um, the owner tells me that uh, are quite old. They've been um, in tanks for, I think he said, 15, maybe 20 years, um, which is just amazing to have um, fish as pets that long. One coral that took my eye in this tank was this beautiful bubble coral. It's kind of hard to see on camera there, but it had this really striking um, stripey pattern to it and um, just a really nice unique color. So um, yeah, that was the cool Red Sea Max. We'll come over here and check out um, another tank that I thought was a display tank, but this is actually their Anemone um, sail tank and there's some um, absolutely ripping nems in this tank. There's some beautiful um, bubble tips, some Magnificas, um, some red Hedoni, blue Hedoni, um, again, the colors are struggling to come up a little bit there, but they're, they're really nice. And you can see the pricing there. Um, for Australian prices, that's that's really good. They might be cheaper overseas, I'm not sure, but um, that's that's a, a fair bargain. Now, here's um, some of the uh, coral display tanks, oh, sorry, sail tanks. We've got some frags there and some colonies. Um, one thing I will point out, I came through on a Tuesday after a long weekend um, in Melbourne. So um, the guys said that... Uh, if I'd come a day or two before, they would have seen, or I would have seen the um, store absolutely packed with corals and fish and um, a bustling amount of customers. But of course, I've come in a day after a three-day weekend. That being said, there was still a heap here. Um, I was surprised to hear that the guys thought this was empty because there's, there's a lot of coral here. We've got a whole other room to go through yet. So um, anyway, we can see a, a lot of elegance there, some acans, different euphilias there, it's a nice little variety of frog spawns. And I quite like the flow they've got in this tank. They've just got a nice little wiggle to them, which is really nice. A few Monty's there. The um, exotic ones on the right don't really show up on camera. There were some really uh, fairly unique ones there. Some wall corals. Looks like we've got some favias. Uh, there's a nice little uh, planted display tank. And uh, if you come through the back here, oh, just a little quick little look to the left where there's some freshwater fish. But if we go through the back, we'll see uh, this is where the marine fish and coral section is. I'm just going to change the lights on these tanks. All right. We can see a little bit better now. The iPhone's picking this up much easier. We got um, some nice little baby clowns in there. A little purple tang. Got some uh, some leathers there. A um, whole variety of acans, almost any colour you want. We got there. Got um, Duncan's and all different uh, sizes, colours. Good selection of uh, fungias. Looks like some cyanarias there. Got a few different uh, morphs there. Some redactors. Good selection of gonies, some large frog spawns up the back, huge assortment of helio fungies, um, like massive. <laughs> Normally you see one or two of those in store, there's like 30 up there. Some more morphs. Um, we got there's one of those bubbles there. I, I nearly bought that home. That was a beautiful bubble. It was as close as what I could find in the uh, display tank. Some large showpiece euphilias there. Still some more euphilias. Again, remember, this is what the guys said when um, they didn't have any coral. This is jam packed. There's a beautiful platinum clown in there and a good assortment of um, elegance corals. There's a scopaz tang. We've got a good range of um, scullies and different price ranges there. So you've got your sort of your entry level scullies and you've got your mid range and high range. Up the back there, there's some pretty exotic recordias. Um, that's Yuma recordias um, for our American friends, not the Florida recordias. We can't get them in Australia. I should say we shouldn't get them in Australia. And uh, we'll come around the corner and have a look at the fish. All right, looks like we've got a uh, Mimic Tang. Yep, Mimic and a Blue. Uh, what have we got in here? There's a Sleeper Gobi. There's a nice Gold Rim Tang. We've got a bunch of Chromus hanging around a clownfish upsetting him. Powder Blue, Blonde Lipstick. That's a nice blonde lipstick. I love those fish, but I can't keep them alive for some reason. The Fire Gobies. 
we got in this one? Some more of those um, damsels, which are striking fish, but I think they're quite aggressive. There's some Queen Anthias in here, at the absolute bargain price of 20, I think they were $20 each. Um, purple Queen Anthias, I should say. Yeah, look at that, Purple Queen Anthias, $20 each. That is a steal. Um, the color on these guys is just striking. So if anyone's looking for Purple Queen Anthias, you've got to get down to um, Lifestyle Aquarium and Reptiles. These guys have got an unbelievable price on those. And we've got some Dispar Anthias at 12 bucks each too. This is good value, guys. Um, I'm not sure what they normally go for, but I'm certain they're much more than that, maybe double. So, And uh, another fish that's an absolute favorite of mine. Um, I, I've only got a small predator tank, so I can't have anything like this, but the dog face puffers have got such a... They're not only dog face, they're dog personalities. There's some Bangai Cardinals there and a clown. And I've seen a lot of Bangais in store lately, so it's good to see some there. There's the hazardous fish tanks. We've got um, a couple of uh, fox face there, some very vibrant colored fox face. There's a blue tang and a big unicorn tang in there, I'm pretty sure it was. Here's um, your live rock section. And we've got one more display tank here, um, which this was super blue saturated, so my phone just really can't pick it up, but it had a beautiful range of morphs in there. The ones at the top had um, pink with like white splashes through them, really, really nice. We'll come outside now and just have a bit of a look through the um, dry goods section. Let's see what we can find. Some uh, dry tanks up the top there. You got some freshwater fish. Along here, we've got all of your um, Aqua One, Seachem Tidal, um, some freshwater ornaments, a nice collection of uh, your driftwood setups for your freshwater tanks. Got some heaters. Um, we've got some sort of quarantine tanks or starter tanks. We got uh, the full uh, Red Sea range down here. The guys also told me that the Red Sea rep was coming in today to restock this, but it looked pretty well stocked to me. Got all of your uh, test kits, your supplements, your salts. Uh, we got a good range of uh, frozen foods in here at a good price. And behind the counter, they've got a wealth of gear in behind here. They've got uh, some Red Sea reactors, Aquaforest skimmers, uh, sorry, Red Sea skimmers, Aquaforest skimmers. Um, you got some Continuum stuff, full range of API gear, Seacam, Hikari Foods, um, some Quantum Skimmers, and uh, yeah, a nice little softy display tank here. This is actually a really nice tank. It's beautiful to see it running so well. Everything's very happy and healthy in there. We've got some Dr. Tim's. We've got some Nem Protects there for your MP40s and 10s, um, some Biomedia, um, some, uh, what do they call them? Those, those uh, Bio Balls. Uh, what do we got there? The full Aquaforest range, including the NP Pro and the big four, four or five litre container, which is cool. All their reef salts and test kits and supplements. But uh, this is probably where I'll start to wrap this video up, although we'll just have a quick look at, um, I think, these uh, water box tanks over here. Got some water box tanks in, um, in display there, so you can check them out and uh, see what they're like in person before uh, ordering the one that suits your size, or maybe even trying to cut a deal on the ones that are here. But um, that pretty well wraps up our uh, tour of uh, Lifestyle Aquarium and Reptiles. So um, I hope you enjoyed it and um, sit tight and uh, hopefully we'll visit your local fish store soon. Thanks, guys. Keep reefing and have a good day. Bye.